Hey, I just thought of a story y'all might like to hear. Old Shoestring tells stories. He's a hobo, man. If, if you want to watch some good YouTube, watch, look up Shoestring. He's a hobo. He's been at it for, I think he said, 35 years. He rides trains everywhere, man. Y'all look his channel up. He's pretty cool. But when you do, tell him mercenary sent you. But um, we was coming out of Bakersfield, California. This was in... I want to say 94, I had my Pete, I had a 379 Pete, and I had some bitch would run, man, she'd do 104 mile an hour, that's a good truck, but we all had lettuce on, there was six of us, me, my brother-in-law, and a bunch of guys that drove for me, I had a trucking company back then, I got rid of my divorce took that away, that's a whole other story, but anyway, we're coming out of Bakersfield, we get probably 30, 40 miles outside of Bakersfield, on 40, running back towards the mountain to go down into Kingman, Arizona. And Chuck's leading, and he starts pulling out. I'm like, what the fuck, man, is he doing? It's 55 mile an hour in California for trucks. You, I mean, you get caught doing over 55, they pull you over. You do 56 in California, them communist pricks will pull you over and give you a ticket. So he speeded up to like 80. I was like, damn, he's running. He's about five truck lengths ahead of me. And I thought, no, 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 no. We can't have that. So I dropped me a couple gears and mashed on it. And that big old black smoke boiled out. I guess he's seen it because right as soon as mine boiled smoke, I seen his boil smoke. And I thought, what the fuck? So we get going. We get up to about 90, 91, 92 mile an hour. And we're all straight line. We're probably, I don't know, four or five car lengths in between each truck we're all pulling reefers weighing probably we got a load of lettuce on from Dole we probably ride around 78,000 pounds every truck we're going to Cincinnati to unload at Dole in Cincinnati anybody that's ever hauled produce they know where I'm talking about right off 75 right downtown by the river but it's night probably about 2 3 o'clock in the morning I ain't very many cars on the road back then. And I ain't a whole lot of trucks. Back then, you didn't pass a whole lot of people at night. Now, it's like, man, just vroom, vroom, vroom everywhere. Back then, you might not pass another truck for 10, 15 miles on the other side going the other way. But we're hauling ass, right? We're cruising at about 95 mile an hour. Talking shit on the radio to each other. You know, my truck's faster. I can pass you anytime I want. Typical truck driver shit, you know. Mine's bigger than yours. And I get Chuck seen a car way up ahead of us. He said, hey, y'all turn your lights off. Every one of us had train horns. I was like, why are we going to turn our lights off? He said, just turn your lights off. When I tell you, blast them train horns. Okay, he's leading the parade. So he's the chief. We got to do what he says. <laughs> I seen the car. <clears throat> Sorry. So we turned our lights off, and man, we're smoking. I mean, we're cooking. I ain't got a light on. There's full moon. So you can see, anybody's been across the Mojave Desert of the night with a full moon, you know you can see for miles. But a car ain't expecting eight trucks to go zipping by at 95 miles an hour. We shouldn't have done this. This was so stupid. We could have killed people. God damn it, it was fun. Man, when we went by that car with them train horns blasted, I swear to God, that dude didn't hit the shoulder. He drove plumb out into the damn sand to get the fuck away from us. I mean, it had to be the most scariest thing that dude ever seen in his life. I do not recommend that. But it's kind of fun. <laughs> That's old school trucking there. Everybody's done, done old school trucking. You know what I'm talking about. But anyway, I just want to tell y'all that story. Truck hard, truck safe, be smart. That was not a smart decision I didn't make. But I'm not smarter now. I don't do that now. Maybe. Y'all be good.